Hello everyone, this is Michael, and today I'm going to be showing you the GoPro Smart Remote. Reading the features on the back, it is supposed to be able to control your GoPro up to 600 feet. It's waterproof up to 33 feet, and you can supposedly control up to 50 GoPro cameras at once. So we're going to open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so we have your instructions, a little safety guide, and the remote itself is filling up this whole cardboard piece so it doesn't get damaged. Looks like it has a little clip thing. hear something inside. Okay, it's the next one. Okay, so inside the cardboard was this little ring. There, now you can see it. It looks like it's gonna clip to this clip thing on the remote is probably for this little hand strap lanyard thing and it comes with a charging cable which looks proprietary on the remote itself it looks like you just have a big record button you have the mode slash power button and you have a wrench looking icon which I assume is for your settings and a small screen. So we're gonna charge this up and see how it goes. Now we got this because Shandra and I are not always together to shoot these videos and so sometimes you don't have a cameraman and it can be difficult to control the GoPro while you're trying to film and present products on screen. And while we do have the phone app, it's a little finicky with us. You can't always see yourself on it, depending on where you have your phone in the shot. And it seems like if the phone shuts off or has any issues or loses its connection to the GoPro, it stops your shot. So we've ended up with a few videos where I've had to piecemeal like four or five different takes together. Where Shander was doing one take or I was doing one take. But the phone losing connection made it five little videos. So we're hoping this is gonna help with that and we will see how it goes. Hope this helps. So in looking at the charging device, we have discovered some difficulties. One, there's this really hard to see little pull tab thing on the back and it's the same color as the rest of the device. So it's black on black. So for if you have any visual low vision or stuff like that, it's very difficult to see. And for hand dexterity, you have to hold the lanyard key thing and this push tab at the same time, and then pull the lanyard piece out. And then inside, there's a little hole where you put the charging cable in. Let's see if I can do this on the first try. Okay, so you have to push with a little bit of force, but then it makes a clicking noise. So on the one hand, this is really secure. This is not going anywhere. I can't even get the cable to wiggle or pull at all without pulling on the tab. But this is gonna be a huge issue if you have any hand dexterity or low vision or anything like that. This is not going to be a good fit for you. 